this is Andrew Pidor and welcome to my channel. There's nothing like holding a diamond in your hand and looking at it. It's a privilege. You're very lucky. It'll never wear out. It will never lose its color. It will never lose its shine. But if you can improve it by cutting it in the right way, getting your proportions right, getting the life to come through these stones, to really live and speak to you, you've done a wonderful job. London's Mayfair, the home of money and style. Also the appropriate setting for international diamond dealer, Lawrence Graf as he reveals his latest collection of diamonds to the press. I'm in a truly exciting business. Diamonds are one of the greatest treasures known to man. Grafs knows the world of gems better than most, but one exceptional diamond presented him with probably one of his greatest challenges. I knew it was going to cost a lot of money, and I didn't really know what we were going to get out of it. In November 2006, Graf decided to buy one of the world's largest uncut diamond. The price was $12 million and a chance to turn it into one of the rarest collections in the world. Assuming, of course, all went well. No one can be really sure what's going to come out of the rough diamond. Lawrence Graf is one of the top names in the world of select jewelry. For half a century he's made exclusive pieces for the wealthy, kings and queens, and heads of state. According to the latest Rich List, he's worth is estimated to be £1.3 billion. But however successful he's been, he's always tried to keep the customers happy, and thinks nothing of flying halfway across the world in his private jet to show someone his latest collection. For Graf, diamonds are a way of life, a consuming passion. You always know where you are, he said, with a diamond. In this video, we see how the king of diamonds found the ultimate gem. Tenth on our list is the star of Bombay, it was acquired in 1974. The 47.39 Court Star of Bombay was the first of a great many famous diamonds to pass through the House of Graf. Since the time of the Mughal emperors, the Golconda mines in the Kingdom of Golconda, now part of the Indian state of Hyderabad, have produced some of the most historic and beautiful diamonds. Lawrence Graf has owned many of these unique stones. He bought this diamond from a European dealer, who sold it for the benefit of a noble Indian family. It was emerald cut and it had probably been set in a Maharaja's regalia, according to Graf. Ninth on our list is the Imperial Blue. This piece was acquired in 1984. A phenomenal stone of 39.31 carats. It is the world's largest flawless fancy blue diamond. Its remarkably crisp, ice-cool shade is intensified by a pear-shaped cut, which draws the eye to its bluest depths. A highly unique creation, the Imperial Blue is among the rarest blue diamonds on Earth. It was discovered in recent years, from alluvial deposits. The rough stone weighed 101.50 carat and was bought by Lawrence Graf, who had it cut into its final state. It was sold to an anonymous buyer after having been set in a platinum ring. Eighth on our list is the Paragon and was acquired in 1990. This unique diamond was unveiled at a special graph exhibition at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills. At a total of 137.82 carats, the Paragon is the world's largest decolor flawless diamond. The word Paragon has more than one meaning. As well as being a thing or person of supreme excellence, it is also defined as a perfect diamond of more than 100 carats. The Paragon Diamond is a part of a stunning necklace that takes pride of place in the Graf Salon on London's New Bond Street, and was not one of the pieces stolen in the UK's biggest jewellery theft. In 2008, Graf revealed this impeccable jewel. At an astonishing 243.96 carats, it is the largest emerald cut D color flawless diamond in the world. The stone's sheer beauty and flawless aspect so enthralled Lawrence Graf that he immediately named it the Magnificence. Deemed excellent by the GIA, it is an entirely colorless diamond of unrivaled quality. 
unearthed in the same Golconda mine as the Hope Diamond. The Wittelsbach Graf Blue Diamond weighs a breathtaking 31.06 carats, unheard of for a stone of this hue. Steeped in regal mysticism, it was set within many different crown jewels during various dynasties of Europe's monarchies. When Lawrence Graf acquired the stone in 2009, he bravely decided to repolish it, repairing its weathered surface and improving its color, making it the largest natural fancy deep blue internally flawless diamond ever discovered. The Graf Pink, a rare 24.78 carat pink diamond, once owned by American celebrity jeweler Harry Winston, has been described as one of the greatest diamonds ever discovered. The diamond was mounted in a ring and was sold by Sotheby's auctioneers in Geneva on the 16th of November 2010. Before its sale, the stone was expected to enter the list of the top 10 most expensive diamonds in the world. After selling for $46 million it became the most expensive single jewel ever sold at auction. The early history of the diamond is not clear. It was sold in the 1950s by American celebrity jeweler Harry Winston to a private collector, who owned it up until 2010, until it was sold at auction. Fourth on our list is the Letzeng Star. The 550-carat diamond was recovered in August 2011, and was so named to signify the growing number of stars in Letzeng's constellation of large diamonds recovered. The Letzeng star is also ranked in the top 20 largest white rough diamonds on record. This diamond yielded 12 pairs of pear-shaped diamonds, as well as a main polished stone of 33 carats, also a pear shape, to form a unique collection of over 165 carats of D-flawless polished gems, stemming from this single rough diamond. The yellow diamond has become a graph signature, as a procession of entrancing golden gemstones has passed through our hands over the decades. Several of these have marked the pages of diamond history, including the 118.08 carat De La Sunrise and the 100.09 carat Graph Vivid Yellow, but none have matched the magnitude of the Golden Empress. Colored diamonds are a particular rarity, as few as one in 10,000 stones, and are therefore highly prized. Lawrence Graf knew instinctively that the 299-carat opaque rough uncovered at Lesotho's Letzing mine had the potential to produce a number of very special jewels. The Golden Empress was accompanied by an entourage of satellite stones, two brilliant rounds and six pear-shaped diamonds, the largest weighing 21.34 carats, an empress and an imperial family, bathed in golden light. The 302.37 carat graph Les de La Rona is the largest highest color, highest clarity diamond ever certified by the GIA, and the world's largest square emerald cut diamond, expertly cut and polished by Graf's world leading team of gemologists and master polishers. This rare marvel required over 18 months of meticulous craftsmanship and marks an historic moment in diamond history. The rough diamond that produced this rare marvel, the 1,109 carat Les de La Rona, was discovered in Botswana and marked an historic moment in diamond history. It was the second largest rough diamond ever discovered. An array of 66 exquisite satellite stones, ranging in size from under a carat to in excess of 26 carats, were also polished from the rough diamond. Each of these diamonds is inscribed with graph, Les de La Rona, and its unique GIA number and is accompanied with a certificate of authenticity from Graf and the GIA. Each diamond has its own personality, its own unique fingerprint, and its own way of behaving upon the will. One of Mother Nature's greatest miracles, when a 373-carat rough diamond was discovered at the Caro mine in Botswana. Lawrence Graf knew it was a destined to be a Graf diamond. Astonishingly, it emerged that the 373-carat stone fitted the contours of the famous 1,109 carats Les A.D. La Rona diamond. Like toe pieces of the priceless jigsaw puzzle, they once formed part of an even larger diamond. Each diamond is unique. We take our time, we don't touch the stone until we know exactly what we are doing with it.
Using the latest precision scanning technology, Graf's gemologists began analyzing the rough diamond to discover the secrets that lay hidden within. Incredible possibility revealed itself. A polished heart-shaped diamond of spectacular rarity, weighing more than 150 carats. We measure, we observe, we pause, and we consider. Only then do we begin. The layers are removed carrot by carrot. And what we really know is the light, the scintillation and perfection of the polished diamond inside. Looking at the polished stones, these vessels of light that we create is extremely satisfying because they demonstrate all of our expertise, our skill and our accomplishment 